Fun Facts About the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That's the title of today's video. Hello, good people. My name is Janice and welcome to Dignity, the channel that illustrates how human rights impacts our daily lives. If this is something that interests you, then I invite you to subscribe now and hit the notification icon so that you do not miss future videos. 10 things about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. But be, before I continue with today's topic, today was the day that I had planned on giving away a book entitled The Judge and I by Phyllis Lou Simpson, a woman who I interviewed about her experience with workplace bullying. At the end of that video, I asked Team Dignity to either leave a tip of their own or to state how the video helped them. So far, no team members stepped up. So I'm extending the deadline until the end of next month, and I will announce a winner on the second Tuesday in May. Okay, so let's move on. 10 facts about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. 2018 marks the 70th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And looking back at history, it recognized that man has committed barbarous acts against fellow man. Those acts include slavery, witch hunts, and general crimes against. But the human devastation resulting from World War II was the impetus for its creation. That devastation included the atomic bomb and the Holocaust. Another impetus for its creation was the recognition that all people aspire to enjoy a life of dignity. Now, one of the purposes of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was to adopt a meaning for the fundamental rights. And among the 30 articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, nine of them are considered fundamental rights. They are the right to self-determination, the right to liberty, the right to due process of law, the right to freedom of movement, the right to freedom of thought, the right to freedom of religion, the right to freedom of expression, of the right to peaceful assembly, and the right to freedom of association. This document is considered a milestone in the history of human rights because it was drafted by representatives from various legal and cultural backgrounds from all over the world. Although the Declaration recognizes the inherent dignity and inalienable rights of all people as the foundation for freedom, justice, and peace in the world, it didn't serve to prevent those seven days in Entebbe or the Rwandan genocide. However, it does recognize that, that each and every one of us as individuals are responsible for upholding the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So even though all nations are not signatories, and even though countries like the U.S. did not ratify the document, how we live our lives determine what contributions we make to this world in upholding the principles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I hope that you found this video insightful, and if you have, I invite you again to